and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from Gen Con 2019, bringing you all the board game coverage all week long. As usual, I'm your host, Matt. I'm Josh. And we are joined today with Zach Barish from Kingdom Death Monster. Hello, everybody. I'm going to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he probably is. Yeah, he definitely is. So, Zach, first and foremost, how are you doing today? I am great. Today was the first day of Gen Con. We got to show off a brand new demo. Uh, got to see a bunch of cool stuff, and now I'm here with the two coolest people I know wearing purple. <laughs> I like how you had to slim Qualify it down that? just a little bit, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, this is one of our favorite times of the year, coming to Gen Con and uh, seeing whatever cool way you're going to kill us this yes. year. So this has become a yearly tradition, and this year we actually didn't have to go down to the booth. You came to us, and we I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and I know our viewers are definitely looking forward to this, to get a chance to see one of the uh, the upcoming monsters from yeah. the next wave in Kingdom Death. Uh, this is almost, like we have a card ca We have full studio set up yeah. this time, so mm -hmm. we're really going to get to see this. And this is our first time actually playing Kingdom Death together, yeah. not at a demo table. Yeah. Aww. Oh, uh, the heart balloon went up when we did that, too. It was perfect. <laughs> uh, so, Zach, what have you brought to show us off today? So, I've got something exciting for you. Mm -hmm. uh, this is from the future. Wave 3 is what we're still currently chugging away at, but we still have been w put a ton of work into Wave 4, so this, this magnificent rump you see before you Look is at that rump. the frog dog. Left cheek, left cheek. Uh, it's another phenomenal Anna creation. So if you love the Gorm, this is the same incredibly talented mind that brought you that oh, yes. wonderfully disgusting monster. I love the Gorm. It's one of my favorite monsters to fight. It's like my one of my favorite, if not my favorite, Cory monster. So definitely looking forward to this one. Well, these are the same nodes, so now they can be in competition with each other. Ooh. So this showdown with the frog dog takes place in the cesspond, an area that I can't fully describe properly, but it is marshy. It is very loud with chirps and buzzing and swarming insects and fart noises, which may <laughs> so become South relevant Florida. to this. <laughs> it was South Florida, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like home for us. Just like home. <laughs> Guys, you really need to move. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are going to be occasionally these loud crashes as things fall off the inverted mountain, actually outside of our Black Knight demo, which you may have seen last year. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you fall out of that, you actually land here at the bottom of the inverted mountain. Mm. Uh, the frog dog itself is a pretty visually impressive monster, as you can see. Its carbuncles are constantly birthing those adorable dog poles that are going to turn into these... Well, I, I fail to find the right words to describe the frog dog itself. Yeah. Uh, you may have also noticed that, or you may be able to guess, this monster fights with sense. Uh, now, that's sense with a C. <laughs> S C not S E. I was gonna be -E -E. like it, yeah. it doesn't fight with small change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, S C E N T S. Not this version of it. Yes, <laughs> this monster has figured out how to weaponize some of its bodily functions and mark you with its sense, which you are, uh, and then hunt it for you via that. We're introducing a new keyword, which frankly I'm just gonna show you on our first AI card. No, oh, okay. Uh, shall we jump into this fight? Uh, sure. Let's go over some of the the gear that we've got, and of then course. we can we can do that. So, which one do you think I should show off first? Uh, here? Let's let's save the best for last. Okay. So right over here. Oh, I've got, got I've got the best then. Oh yes. yeah. Well, you've, you've got, got all the, the most new stuff. New stuff. All right, so uh, first up, you'll see a little bit of old hat here with the leather skirt, leather bracers, and leather cuirass, but what's this we got in the middle here? Uh, well, that's a frog dog weapon, good sir. Ah. That is the long club. It's a 2, 5, plus 3, reach 2 weapon, but you're going to notice an important keyword there. Stinky. That last word is stinky. If you slide that sheet up a little bit more, you're going to see next to your bleeding tokens an unfamiliar oh, kind of token right there. That, my friend... Is a stinky. stink token. Stink token. Or as my coworker Jonathan loves to say, a stank token. Stank yeah. token. <laughs> I think Matt has um, one of those just in real life. Well, thank you, yeah. Joshua. <laughs> so just having brought that gear out, you started the show out with a stink token, according to the monster's foul stench trait card. Okay. Now, will that inter will that work with other monsters? Is that important for other fights with other monsters currently, or just really this one? I'll say theoretically current to, be to be continued. Uh, okay. So no monsters <laughs> currently care about stinky gear. You're going to find out exactly how that works in a moment. Though. Okay. And then I've also got the club specialization here. Mm -hmm. uh, so when attacking with a club on a perfect hit, double your wound attempt total on the first selected hit location. So... That's pretty straightforward there for me. I'm and digging the club, though. Chat was asking, is Frog Dog standalone, or is it come with the Gambler? This is a standalone Wave 4 expansion. This is a standalone Wave 4 expansion. It can be combined with several of other expansions as part of the Inverted Mountain campaign, yeah. but it's standalone by itself, Node 1 Quarry Monster. Yeah. 
All right, so Josh, hand me some of the stuff that you got over uh, there. We'll go with, with this guy's just like generic core game. All yes. right, so we got skull helm, we got scrap sword, we got some rawhide boots, we got some leather bracers, and you've got craze. So on a perfect hit, gain plus one insanity. Also to note that mo both Josh and I have four bleeding tokens, so we're in a pretty rough spot to begin with here. Yeah, I love how all your demos, no one actually knows how to make like a armor set. They're just like, oh, we're just gonna. This is what looks fashionable to us. Yes, that that is how we uh, our survivors prefer to play. <laughs> the fashionistas, if you yeah. will. Uh, so then this one here, we've got the rawhide vest, the rawhide pants, the rawhide boots, and a vertebraeonet. A vertebraeonet, you say? A vertebraeonet. Uh, they also so that vertebraeonet is another piece of frog dog gear. And if you're wondering now, who could come up with a truly magnificent pun such as that? Well, that is this monstrous creator and Kingdom Death's best. Uh, alliteration artiste, uh, most proficient professor of puns, Anna. She is Perfect. outstanding. So, so does Anna outdo Adam in the dad puns? Um, I mean, I don't think there's even any competition. Okay. <laughs> and I love me some puns, but I Anna is truly spectacular at them. So the vertebrae net, you're going to notice two interesting things that are modifying it. First, it's got a special ability. Mm -hmm. uh, it gains plus one luck whenever you're trying to wound a hit location that has a persistent injury. Okay. But secondly, you're going to notice it has modified stats, but not because of anything in the gear grid. If you're going to look at that delirium disorder. Mm -hmm. So delirium disorder there. Incoherent revelry overtakes you. You are always noisy. On arrival, draw two random survivor attribute tokens honoring the side they are drawn on. Ooh. So you just happen to get the good ones here. You got the plus one accuracy and the plus one strength. Or you might have minus one speed, minus one luck, but we were very generous this time around. And I'm interested in how you wrote that as plus one luck instead of deadly on those cards. Yes. Um, deadly has a different meaning, but also yeah. deadly is just going to specifically be plus one luck, so we might as well, instead of saying yeah. gains deadly, we'll cut out the middleman. Yeah. But last and especially not least, All right, it's so. time for the goggles. Zigagos. Well, I'm going to show off. I got some membrane armor here. So, uh, membrane armor completed set bonus. Add plus one to all hit locations. And then we got something called propel here. Mm -hmm. uh, so, propel is spend an activation and a movement to move up to three spaces in a straight line and activate a weapon. This attack has minus two accuracy and gains plus one strength for each hit location with armor points remaining. Well, that's interesting. It is. There's a lot of flexibility to this armor set. So we got that full membrane here. So the membrane vest, uh, the first time this armor is reduced to zero, ignore remaining unresolved damage, suffer knockback. Five. Ooh, that's nice. We might see that come into play. I like that. Uh, the membrane sleeves, and that carries that same text there, uh, but you get that knockback. Uh, membrane suit, two armor, also has that ability. The frog doggles. The frog doggles. <laughs> we will find out if they do something. Uh, so you may reveal all cards on double, <laughs> on what? Uh, um, uh, double sphincter. I think we're going to get to that in a moment. Double sphincter. Uh, limit once per uh, per act, and then if you've got uh, the puzzle pieces activated, which we sure do, mm -hmm. uh, while you are stinky, gain plus one accuracy. Yes. yes. We've also got ourselves a membrane boots, which uh, has two armor, and then the first time, this has that uh, that first time ability as well. Um, and you can and then you gain a movement and spend it immediately. So unlike the other ones with the knockback, you're getting movement and being able to run around the field a little bit. Uh, we got this. In the boots, it's a little bit more controlled. Also, one thing you're going to see: there's a symbol for that ability to look at uh, cards on double sphincter. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if we've officially confirmed what we've been calling that. I've been casually calling them delusion abilities. You need to be insane to use that ability. Ah, Ooh. okay. Okay. And so then. Insane. Insanity's getting a little bit. Well, well, this is what Adam said it before: was the inverted mountain is going to be a little bit more about the uh, insane side of yes. the Yes, yeah. there's Keep only limited amounts I can say, but there is definitely a focus on insanity. Yeah. So with this armor set, it pays to be insane in the membrane. That's a crazy idea. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> uh, then we've got the membrane mask and the bone axe. I'm going to use the old faithful bone axe there moving forward. And again, four of the bleeding tokens. And, and you are stinky. I am stinky. I got that stank token. You are stanky because of, I think we're going to show it off now, the double sphincter card. You, my friend, have been farted on. So this is a little bit uh, of the mature audience warning here. The artwork here is a little This is a graphic. true Lockman lamb. Yeah. So. Impressive card. 
Uh, we got that double string. Oh, I like that it's slightly invisible too because of the green screen. Yeah, I'm kind of uncomfortable with that <laughs> card, but it's it's. Is still this one of the art prints you have for sale that I could get Lockman to sign? I think that it's worth asking about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might I might ask about this. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so this is a trait, the double sphincter, and that is the frog dog emits a crackling bubble. Uh, it wobbles through the air, drawn to the bioelectric pulses of living things. At the start of the monster's turn, before drawing an AI card, play all farts on this card, one at a time. Play all farts on this card? All farts on this card. What huh. does that mean? Well, you may have noticed I've hidden an entire deck on the table. I see that. The FRT deck. Oh my goodness. We've got a fart deck, folks. I promise you, this will come into play. <laughs> but I think we've got to give the people something to watch out for. Oh boy. Um... What else can I do for you before we get the show started? Oh, we have some other traits in play. Uh, we do have some traits in play. Mm -hmm. I'm going to save Gaseous Bloat and Snatch and Squash for when they show up. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the Foul Stench card, which we foul can show off right there. Foul Stench. All right. So the Frog Dog's presence elevates the riot of smells in the area to a fever pitch. On arrival, all survivors gain one stink token for each stinky gear in their gear grid. So that explains why the we got The long club. Yeah. Uh, if they archive stinky gear from their gear grid... During the showdown, they discard a stink token. If a survivor has any stink tokens, they are stinky. If they are already stinky, they become stinkier. stinkier. The stinkiest survivor is stinky and has the most stink tokens. Was that just a game of how many times you could put stink in one sentence? I was talking with Anna of like, maybe... But may nope, nope. <laughs> Definitely, it, it needs to be referenced as many times as possible. And then we also have a terrain card. For we do have a terrain card. I was going to save that for a moment, oh, but uh, remember, no, no, but I can say, remember okay. how your scrap sword survivor, you're like, oh, where's my new content? Yeah. Well, the new content actually is something you're standing on right now. Okay. Ooh. That is a mammoth leaf. It's a brand new terrain tile that's introduced as part of the frog dog cesspot. So this is an in, uh, indestructible terrain, and the spongy surface... Bo uh, bows squelchily. That is an interesting word right there. Uh, tensing underfoot with kinetic potential. So you could spend an activation and a uh, movement. And if you are on a mammoth leaf, you bounce dizzily into the air, flying overhead and perform an aerial attack. Place your survivor up to seven spaces away on an unoccupied space, then activate a weapon in your gear grid with plus three strength. Plus three strength. So these are KDM trampolines? These are KDM trampolines. Okay, so 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 last year we had the ping pong, uh, the, the ping, ping the ping pong balls of death. Yeah, ping pong balls of death. Yeah. And now we have death trampolines. Yes, I, I'm enjoying this so far. D does the monster get to use the death trampolines on us? Uh, would you like to find out the hard <laughs> way? <laughs> well, he is sitting on one. <laughs> <laughs> he is sitting on one. I wonder what that could possibly mean. Um, what's our insanity at right now? Your insanity is at zero. Okay. So okay. we're starting the show down in the middle. As you may have noticed, you all have four bleeding tokens. You have zero survival. Mm -hmm. uh, but your light and heavy injury boxes are unfilled. Okay. okay. But we lost all our armor and all our You've lost all your armor with the one exception. Well, you've probably figured out why. Uh, the survivor of the membrane armor has one body armor, but don't even bother writing it down because you're probably about to get attacked there. Okay. All right. Shall we? I think we can go. Let's do it. So you've seen what the monster can do. Uh, you understand the basics that the monster has figured out how to weaponize its farts. <laughs> you. I think we need to do one thing real quick. Oh. We need to name these survivors. Oh. Point. Point taken. I, I feel like we need some good names here. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm gonna take the uh, the the membrane armor. Okay. And uh, they're they're going to be uh, Lin Sane in the membrane. Okay. Okay. You're going to have to double up with names. Yeah. I lost the fourth survivor record sheet. You can blame me. <laughs> you could blame them. It would not be correct, but I would appreciate it. And then uh, the the second character there, we are going to name uh, Theodore. Oh, Teddy. Yeah. Oh, so they all have one survivor since they named him now. <laughs> um. I'm trying to think of like a good fart pun name. I can't think of anything though. My my mind's not. Tutor. Tutor. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> oh Tutor boy. And Scooter. <laughs> I don't know why. They're twins. They're twins. Yeah. They're fraternal twins, <laughs> but everybody asks them if they're identical. But they're like, one of us is a boy and one of us is a girl. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> but you look identical. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but you're twins. <laughs> All right. Are we good? I think we're good now. So as ever, we're going to start with the monster's turn. Mm -hmm. Now on the monster's turn, well, you all know how to play Kingdom Death at this point. Yeah. 
The monster is going to start this demo with Wet Slap. Okay. Ah, oh, Wet Slap. That sounds that sounds wonderful. <laughs> it's going to pick a target. It's going to pick the, I believe, the stinkiest threat in range. Yeah. Now so we've got a, stinkiest? We've got a tie between both of you. You both have a stink token, which means you are eligible for being the stinkiest. Mm -hmm. But you might notice I'm definitely going to target... <laughs> Insane in the membrane. Linsane. Linsane. In the membrane. <laughs> the monster is going to move and attack. You might notice I've slightly modified this card for the purposes of the demo. Three speed, so three Ds. D three Ds. Three Ds. Deep. Three Ds. Hits on fives are better. That. Three, three, two. Is three misses. Yeah, that's. So the intent for this was we would have punctured b your body armor, but instead we didn't. So the monster has done nothing, but you're going to notice one final line of text Perform at the bottom. Perform gaseous blast. Perform gaseous bloat. Oh, bloat. Uh, bloat, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to correct you, just I was about to say it out loud. Gaseous bloat. All right, so uh, do you want to read that? Or you want sure. To? Okay. I'll just... Uh, Can you read it from up there? Only barely, but loudly <laughs> churning bluous organs inflate the monster's... Uh, I'm just going to say nether regions with gas. <laughs> this part has inflated a little bit. We're going to take the top card of the fart deck, and we're going to place it on double sphincter. Okay. Then at the start of the monster's turn, it's going to play all the fart cards one at a time. Gotcha. There's a secret that I haven't told you yet, but when it becomes relevant, I will tell you. Oh, boy. All right. Do you but, got the rest of the text on there? Or uh, so the rest of the text it. tells you what to do if you can't place a fart. I don't think the showdown's going to go on that long. Uh, and the last thing I'm intentionally keeping secret, but anybody who is a quick reader back home will know what the heinous origin is. <laughs> Spoilers, there's something called the heinous, heinous origins. origins. <laughs> Does it remove the hay part? This isn't uh, on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Whoa. But with that, we placed a fart card. We have discarded wet slap. It is the survivor's turn. Okay. And you he doesn't... The fart deck doesn't have the beginning of the monster The turn? beginning of the monster's okay. turn. So he's not going to... Or the monster's not going to fart till. Correct. The beginning. All right. So the monster doesn't have any tokens or anything in play, right? Correct. Okay. The monster has a toughness of eight, a movement of seven, and I believe it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight life. So I have a question. Can I trampoline back and forth? Like, I don't have to be on the center spot, right? You don't have to be on the center spot. Okay. So Again, this is still technically prototype content, but as you can see, it's fairly long in development. Do you want to trampoline in, Josh? I, I know you're I want to trampoline too. him in the butt. Do it. All right. I, I well, one, that's... two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're not going to be able to oh, reach the blind I spot. I can't hit the blind. All it's right. almost like the cruel demo designer had this yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll hit, I'll hit him in the, the side of the butt. In the side of the Would you yeah. like to be placed there? Yeah. So you go boing, landing on another bouncy mammoth leaf. Yeah. All right. So you're attacking with uh, the scrap sword. So it's two speed. Hits on fives five or plus. better. Six and a so nine. So that is oh, 69. 96. 96. <laughs> <laughs> so you've hit the monster in the festering throat and the twitching mammary sacs. I'm going to slide Ooh, that up there. The twitching mammary Check sacs. Check that fantastic artwork. Uh, they swing pendulously over the mound of whimpering mouths. So you're going to make a wound attempt. Toughness of eight. Toughness you have of three eight. strength plus three from the mammoth. So six, so I need six. Two plus. Two or better. All right. You could do no it. No one. Seven. That is a seven. So we're going to burn a wound. Now we're going to go for the festering throat, which is a failure reaction. All righty. Oh, that overlay definitely makes it look interesting and dramatic. That is also a wound. So I'm going to burn another AI card. I'm going to put these here so I don't get confused. So and how much health did the monster have to start with at the beginning of this? Uh, the monster would have had 11. Eight basic, two A's. Oh, boy. It's okay. done way more damage to you than you have to it. <laughs> but then it completely whiffed on its attack. Yeah. Who wants to go next? Uh, was that a pun there? Uh, Whiffed. Whiffed. Not intentional. Whiffed, yeah. <laughs> I, I like that. That was good. <laughs> I'm going to try and pepper these in, but not call attention to that. <laughs> um, so can I get around to the butt cheek with the long club survivor? You can indeed. I'm going to go over there. So you're going to be here? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack. So I need my two dice, please. And I'm going to be hitting on a four plus. Yes, because of the blind spot. So nine that and is three. one hit in the double blinking eye. You can oh. read that flavor text if you like. Uh, slowly, one milky transparent lid slides down over the bulging eye. Then another raises from the bottom. It's got a lot of lids. <clears throat> I mean, you got to protect your eyes from the, the noxious fumes, right? Yeah. Um, so I am attacking. Uh, you said he has eight toughness, correct? correct? So I've got three. So you need a five or better. Five or better. So that is two. unfortunately not good enough, where, but where? it is a safe hit location. Yeah. Go. So we've got the Vertebrainette Survivor, and we have the Bonax Survivor. Um, how you feeling over there, Josh? Um, 
go ahead and go first. Okay, so I'm going to stay where I'm at with the Bonax Survivor. Sure. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and attack. So two speeds, six plus It's actually going to be fives or better. The frog doggles have turned on because you're stinky and we've connected your affinities. <laughs> oh. You uh, stinky chat boy. Chat said, I kind of wish I could listen to this playthrough without context. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven to two. All right. That is one hit to the festering exposed gums. Mm. This is a failure reaction. So he's got oh. gingivitis. All right, so don't fail. What, what do you need to roll? Uh, five, five or better. Five plus. Fifty-fifty shot. Seven. That is a wound. wound. Cool. You're on fire. Uh, clearly, you've had chili for dinner. Uh, so with What's that, dinner? <laughs> this is Jenga. <laughs> I think the frog dog had chili for dinner. Uh, I am really looking forward to this happening. Oh boy. All right. Uh, All right. You ready to bring us home? From what I know, I don't stand in front of the monster. Oh wait, would it. you like to move? No, I would like to stay there. Okay. Oh, you know, I'm gonna attack and then. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I, I lied. I'm gonna move back onto the this, mammoth leaf. On, onto yeah. the mammoth leaf. That, that, Wonderful. That's what I, I want to do. I, I think I'm gonna follow the same suit. So I'm gonna do two speed hits on six. Six plus. So that's a six so that is one exactly hit. one hit, and you hit, hit the monster the directly guard. in the trap guard. The carbuncle the cough. Carbuncle cough. Yes. So we know how this trap works, or rather, we know how a trap works, but this mm -hmm. one we don't. It is, of course, going to doom you. Uh, you're going to notice there's text here that is entirely in bold. All at once, the carbuncles, which is this spot right at top that's birthing the frog pups, screw their eyes shut and start to gag. You want to, you know what? I want you to say this. I want to hear you say this with a straight face. Okay. All at once, the carbuncles screw their eyes shut and start to gag. Wriggling, mucus covered balls emerge from the carbuncle orifices. This can never be unseen. All adjacent survivors suffer monster-level brain damage. Good news, everybody. We gave you no insanity, so it's brain trauma Yay. time. Long Club gets a our brain trauma. Verta Brayonet and Scrap Sword all get brain traumas. Our boxes are already checked Your out, boxes so. are checked in. I'm okay. not that nice. Right. A nine, that is going to be new perspective. So you're going to... Uh, oh, no, no. This person oh. actually is okay. Well, thank, Cause thank the Lord. Yeah. All right, so you have a six and a two. No. A six and a four. A six and a four. So dead. four is going to be flee. You're going to gain uh, D5 insanity, be knocked down, uh, and suffer knockback. One, two, three, four, five, towards the closest board edge. Uh, six is danger seizure. I'm going to roll your hit location die. You're going to whap yourself right in the head. So I'm going to get knocked down. Yes. You're going to gain two insanity with the Scrap Sword Survivor, who's also hitting himself in the head. Okay. Uh, and you are knocked down and gain D10 insanity. All righty. And that's four. That's four. So you're knocked down. Uh, Chat's asking about the little five in the top corner. The little five at the top corner. Yeah. That's a good thing. It's yeah. almost like sometimes we see these cards at specific parts of the yeah. deck. <laughs> <laughs> but finally. Just, just so you guys know, I'm hiding these, that card. these demos are kind of rigged. Sometimes we rig the demo, sometimes we shuffle the deck against you, but usually we play the trap so you're not going to hit it right at the beginning. This trap says, if the attacker survives, which you have, the ornery monster shakes off its spawn and lashes out. We're going to perform basic action, target the attacker. Now, the attacker was, I believe, the vertebrae net survivor yep. or the scrap sword survivor? Uh, uh, vertebrae. Right. All right, good news. Everyone's getting bowled over tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. You're going to suffer knockback. I'll put you this way. One, two, three, four, five. You are there. The monster's basic action has also He's given you the butt. Given you the business. <laughs> but it'll turn the business end to everybody else. So we've also modified the basic action for this monster just so it would kill people a little bit faster. Oh, that's good. This is uh, three speed, five plus, hits on twos or better. Can we show the card off in the uh, camera? I'm sorry? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So three speed, five plus accuracy, and two damage. Uh, so he rolled a 981, so that is two hits. Two One miss. Hits. And, yes, th th these are going to go on YouTube at some point. Wonderful. So that's two damage each to the hands, or the arms and yeah, the legs. Right. So that's just two heavy hits. I'm, a, I'm all right. <coughs> I can knees take and that. Toes, knees and toes. <laughs> as long as it wasn't the head and shoulders. Uh, yeah, the monster just shampooed you really <laughs> vigorously. <laughs> okay. So two more things need to happen. First thing, I'm going to need you to cut the deck. <laughs> that is our tradition. Like the cheese. Um, more so chat's things. asking, when you did the knockback, you get to choose what direction you get knocked back in? Uh, I always it thought it was in the direction the monster was coming, so ch chat's asking about it. No, that's a good question. I would say uh, sometimes it is dealer's choice. Usually it makes the most sense. The reason why I would do this, particularly when I was running a demo, is I kind of wanted you bunched up with your friends. For a moment, you're going to... Get farted on? 
Yeah, yes. we're going to get far. But yeah. the last thing that's going to happen is the final thing on the basic action is it's going to perform gaseous bloat, so we get revving up fart another card. fart card. And oh, look at that. It's the monster's turn. Oh, boy. So now I'm going to place gaseous bloat because you're going to notice something very important at the bottom. This area right at the monster's glorious hiney um, is called the heinous that origin. Cheek. Oh, boy. Yes. Which is the left cheek the best cheek? The right cheek the best cheek? No. Center cheek. Center, Center cheek. cheek is where it's at. <laughs> and by where it's at, I mean that's where farts come out of. It is the most where farts are made. Who would think? <laughs> Who would think? Oh, boy. <laughs> so when the monster is wounded by a survivor standing in the heinous origin, a squealing escape of gas dissipates harmlessly in the air. Discard the top fart card on double sphincter. Yes. So we want to hit him in center cheek to get you, rid of his farts. Yes, but that is also the most dangerous place to stand because, well, farts, farts are about to come out right now. Mm -hmm. So do they squeal out like a pig? <coughs> like, uh, a, like a balloon when you release yeah. the air. It's more that than a whee! <laughs> uh, so uh, blooming emission. Oh, boy. Uh, helplessly suffocating in the clothing scent of powdery blooms, target a survivor with the fewest spaces from the heinous origin. They suffer two damage to the body, hit location, and gain a stink token. Stank token. Stank. Gasping and bloodshot, they stagger away, suffering the flea brain trauma. Interesting. What is going on in my phone? <laughs> Everything's fine. <laughs> All right. So interestingly, the closest survivor is actually the survivor with the vertebrae in that. Okay. Because it's distance as the crow flies. Mm -hmm. Um... So, ba -ba 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 -ba. sorry, they're texting me like, what's the status of the demo? And I'm like, I'm going to probably have to bring it back tomorrow. <laughs> but <laughs> you're going to take two damage to the body hit location. Okay. So this is, he, he's good. You're, you're taking a, a bunch of punishment. You're going to get a stank. Get a stank. Uh, gonna and you're going to suffer the flea brain trauma. So you're going to get knocked back towards the closest board edge. No, Matt did this to me today in real life. <laughs> Made you flee? Farted yeah, on you, you did. Okay. <laughs> oh. I didn't uh, like need it, to know that like about your personal life. But four wait. more insanity? Uh, yes. Okay. So I'm at five. Uh, no, five more insanity. I rolled a nine. Oh, so. But now there's another fart, and fortunately, one, two, three, four. Sorry. One, two, three, four. Ba -ba -ba -ba. We have a new target for our oily emission. Ooh. <laughs> a really wet one. <laughs> a wretched heaving so extreme you fear you'll vomit your inner lantern. Target a survivor the fewest spaces from the heinous origin. They suffer one damage to the waist and body locations and gain a stank token. Well, now it is time for Lin Sane to feel some fun. No. So Lin Sane is now definitely the stinkiest survivor. I got some double stank going on. So you're going to fill in your box. All right. So I gained one at the waist, so I get a light there, mm -hmm. and one at the body, which you said I had one body armor remaining, correct? Oh, actually, yes. <coughs> Unfortunately, if you'd suffered this in the other order, it would have popped and saved you from the waste damage. Oh. But you didn't. So you're going to suffer knockback five. Would you like to go that away or that away? Well, I don't feel like I should run into Josh. Mm. So I'm going to go to the left away. One, two, three, four. And with that, we perform both farts, and it's time for the monster to actually draw oh, AI. Jeez. Okay. And the monster has drawn gnashing and barking. Although, interestingly... I dropped a card on oh, the floor. Oh, it's quite a right to card again. I got it. Um, this card is only going to target threats. No one is a threat, so the monster is going to perform its instinct. Which is cagey? Yes. Okay. We're going to place the monster in the center of the showdown board. You know what? You can read this as well, both because I can't read it when it's that <laughs> far and because sometimes it just shouldn't be me. <laughs> place the monster in the center of the showdown board. Draw, drawn to the scent of unease... Barking dog poles race out from under the frog dog. All sane survivors and are marked with dog scent and gain minus one evasion and a stink token. Who is not insane? Uh, Tudor is, is insane. Tudor is insane, so nothing Tudor, bad happens. Uh, How about Scooter? Scooter, Scooter's insane. Not, not insane. So Scooter is going to get a stank token. And Linsane in the membrane is not insane. Linsane does that. We're also going to remember you have minus one evasion tokens because I left them at the booth. All right. Uh, but with that, the monster's turn is over, and I have no recollection anymore of when people got knocked down, and how, and why. So we all got knocked down on our turn, respectively. That sounds... The trap card. Yes, from the trap, which yeah. means you're all going to stand up right now. Woohoo! Yeah! It's been a long day, friends. Um, so... So he doesn't have any fart cards on his double shrinker right That now. is correct. So we don't have to try to go for that heinous origin. Mm -hmm. So um, we need to use both a move and a... Uh, action to jump on the trampoline. Correct. Yes, so you're going to have to spend... move and then jump. 
So, do I want to go to the butt and attack? Um, yeah, why not? Do it. Plus three strength is pretty solid, and the trap card's probably as buried as it's gonna be. Well, I, I maybe. <coughs> All right. Oh, if you did your job right. <laughs> if, I, if I did my job right, which is put the trap on top, is, is basically what I do on yeah. screen. Look, so. I really need you to hold this in, okay? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump with uh, the scrap sword. I'm gonna go I'm left gonna cheek. Go. Left cheek. Going for left cheek. I hear that cheek's pretty good this time of year. All right, so you rolled a six, six and, a and a four. That is two, two hits, hits because of the blind spot bonus. Oh, nice. Awesome. So we have the festering sinuses and the twitching dig digit flexors. Let's go for the failure first because, right. well, you wound on twos. I wound on two, so okay. it's a three. That is a three. A, a three wound. is strictly higher than a two. Last time I checked, at least. And now we're going to go for the twitching digit flexors. All right, so this has a wound reaction on it. All right, so... Hold the four. There we go. Four. That is a wound. But what does that wound reaction say? The frog dog's wide set eyes swivel wildly. If the attacker is not in the monster's blind spot, hey, you are. Perform snatch and squash. Target the attacker. Snatch and squash would involve jumping, a tongue, and a lot of pain. Sounds like a good time. All right. <laughs> so it's a good thing you're in the blind spot. Yeah. Um, best cheek, best cheek. I'm going to go ahead and... How with the pole? So how far away is the axe survivor? Can I get to the right cheek with that? You can get to the right cheek. I'm going to go with that. That's a good choice. One might say it's the correct one. <laughs> so uh, two speed hits on fours because you're stanky with the frog doggles. Mm -hmm. And you have the blind spot. How much health does the uh, monster have left? You're actually doing exceptionally well. Literally no one has don't, done this well today when I ran the demo. Sure. Uh, that's a 10 and a 3. So, so I you got have no perfect hit bonuses. Oh, was that on? Oh, that's on With the, the club. That, that's right. Okay. The twitching back. This is a wound reaction. So, uh, uh, fail or wound, something's going to happen. All right. So, uh, I have three strength, so I need a five plus. Correct. How about a six? That is a wound. What does that wound reaction say? So, this is the monster's carbuncle spit a thin black plasma. All adjacent survivors gain a stink token. All right. Let's uh, give out some stank. Tokens. If the attacker is sane, I am. They gain the... A proctophilia disorder. A proctophilia. You can look that up at home. I know what it means. I don't need to tell you what it means. But here, well, is given proct and philia, I, I have an idea. Yes. <laughs> uh, leave those thoughts behind, okay? All right. So a proctophilia. Uh, that's just nasty. Uh, when you become stinky, gain plus one survival and plus one insanity. You must depart with stinky gear in your gear grid. So does he get an insanity uh, survival now? Uh, no. The order of events uh, for most things, you gain the stink token, then he gained the approximate Okay, so next stink token. Next time a stink token is gained, and I'm going to leave that on you to remember, not me, because my brain is absolute mush. Sounds good. <laughs> uh, speaking of mush... Uh, Chad just want to remind you of what we did to the Gold Smoke Knight, your baby. Maybe put some rage in you to, to kill us more. <laughs> Oh, what's this? A plus one damage token? <laughs> Where'd that come from? Um, looks like actually everybody's still good to go. The Vertebrae Survivor and the Long Club. Josh, do you have any... Uh, you, I think you should go first. Uh, if there's a reaction, maybe you'll come closer to me or so something might happen. All right, so I'm going to go to the Heinous Origin. I think you should take that long club and shove it right up there. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. M move me onto the... The, the, the leaf. The yeah, leaf. and I'm going to attack from there because I have reach. All right, Got so it. we now get the blind spot bonus, but you still hit on fives. Uh, it's an eight and a two, so that's All one right, miss, so we've drawn the Twitching Abdominus. This is a failure reaction. Uh, let's see if... Uh... Oh, boy. Nope, nope, not going to say that. I'm on television. Oh, that great. is a critical wound. Yeah. So we're going to burn the monster's final AI card. What does that say? Ribbons of viscera tangled with fibrous stems of aquatic plants pour, uh, pour from the wound. Persistent injury is slashed gut. When the monster performs snatch and squash, roll a d10. On a one, the monster is knocked down instead. That is quite good. Seriously, why do you keep destroying these monsters? <laughs> it would be so much more entertaining to murder you like I get to kill everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, my turn. Uh, can, I, can I reach? You can one, two, three, four, five. You can yeah. get right there. Get right in his face. Two speed with your modified vertebrae net. So six plus the hit. That is four and a six. one, one hit. hit. Let's see if we can take him out. I was really hoping that would be the trap. The that is the twitching mammary sacks again. You're going for those mammary sacks, Josh. So I have three strength. He's at eight. Yeah, toughness. if memory serves, this is still an eight toughness. <laughs> Five plus. <laughs> Nine. And congratulations. Two oh, things it, wait, have happened. Wait, wait. You have a special ability. I hadn't forgot it. That's yes. why I said. 
Uh, your weapon has uh, plus one luck when attacking locations with persistent injuries, just like this one. The monster would gain minus two toughness tokens. However, you've also triggered the spraying frog milk persistent injury. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with it, but it would involve a lot of milk and a lot of leg damage. The card is on my face. I love it. <laughs> but uh, with that disgustingly easy showdown out of the way, seriously, the success rate for this thing is like 30%. <laughs> we just got to when the monster was just like, bah, 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 I'm going to miss you, and then I'm going to just divide up all my damage on hit locations. But anyway, you're going to carve up the monster. We can deal out a couple resource cards for you here. Okay. I so what do we get here? Ooh, a spindly paw. A spindly paw. Uh, we've got an ironclad spine. And this is a, a droning melody sounds with a touch. And this is a stinking marrow drips from the porous surface. Then we've got some waxy dermis, an oily shimmer, and finally a mossy molar. You really got to brush more often. Teaming with dog life. Yeah. Sorry, but it's gingivitis. Yeah. Gingivitis. Um, but yeah. That was you demolishing a monster that is generally very good at killing people, but your luck has held out. I mean, I feel like we were extremely lucky there, uh, especially dealing with those uh, those farts, the F the FRT cards. Mm -hmm. So there's a uh, yeah, there's a lot of fart in this in this showdown. No, this was a real gas. Thank you for having me. <laughs> You've been doing this all day, haven't you? Yeah. Oh goodness. So, what else about this showdown did we maybe not get a chance to see with the the demo that uh, you wanted to talk about? Any specific AI cards or hit location cards that really you wanted to show off here? Um, well, we hit the main things. The mm -hmm. We have failed in this demo if no one has been farted on. <laughs> I did mention you asked if the monster is able to bounce off of these uh, mammoth leaves, which it certainly is able to. Yeah. It actually has two mechanics: one at a hit location called leap, which chat got to see very briefly. Well, the monster jumps into the air out of the way and then ga performs gaseous bloat, uh, ready up another fart. Gotcha. There's also Snatch and Squash, which, well, you know what? Why don't you read that for everybody at home? Sure thing. So Snatch and Squash is a trait card here, and that is faster than the eye. The monster's elastic tongue snatches its victims. The frog dog springs into the air, dangling the survivor, uh, I'm sorry, as the dangling survivor hurdles to meet its soaring open maw. Place the monster on the center of the farthest mammoth leaf and turn its blind spot to face the center of the showdown board. Place the target knocked down in front of the monster. The monster crashes down with malicious heft. All survivors, all adjacent survivors and, and survivors the monster lands on suffer monster level damage to a random hit location. It jumps up, it tongues you, and then it crashes down on you and all your friends. Sounds like a party. <laughs> you guys, you keep wanting me to come down to Florida, <laughs> and then you tell me what you do there. <laughs> and I like you, but you scare me. <laughs> I mean, there's Florida man's a thing for yeah. a reason. Yeah. What are your hospital bills like? It seems like you're in the emergency room every week. <laughs> Oh, uh, but yeah, this this has some very interesting mechanics to it, um, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm really excited to see the different ways that you can play around with the gear here. So, is there any other gear that maybe you can talk to us about from the Frog Dog set? As you know me, I I'm known for being very verbose, uh, for really talking about unreleased content a mm -hmm. lot. Definitely. Um, I'm I'll restrict myself for the most part to okay. what we brought with us. But I will say there's some very exciting farts you haven't seen that are doing very different things. Uh, there's a piece of gear I am very excited about that I hope makes it to print, which I unfortunately can't talk too much about. But it does appropriate a fighting art, I particularly like in a novel way. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That, that's, I think that's that's enough. It's like what the hell is it? Oh, it's gotta be Orator of Death. <laughs> Definitely it's not orator. Oh, oh. All chats don't have redacted. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> Josh, how about you? Any questions from you? Um, no. Uh, th thanks for. I know we have some cool stuff at the booth. We have the uh, yes, the vignette. We have the vignette of death, the white giga lion, which is something I've been hoping to get to talk to for a long time, and I've been talking about a lot to all of our fantastic people online. So, so you want to explain, like, to everyone at home, what what that what that is like yes a brief uh, so the vignette of death is something that hopefully folks enjoy that uh, we heard about and wanted to do for a while it is the first time it actually is sort of a one and done showdown yeah all you need with a vignette of death is the core game you assemble it 
Uh, there are, I mean, there's the white Giga Line itself, 100 millimeter base, the four vignette survivors. There's a small rule book that's included, as well as four pre printed gear grids. And I believe we're calling them survivor cards, but don't quote me on that internet. <laughs> uh, that'll tell you exactly how to assemble the survivor record sheets uh, to tell the story of these four fateful survivors who encountered a white Giga Line. Uh, I don't need to spoil it too much, but. Uh, there's a certain, perhaps obvious thing that you can do to unlock the white Giga Lion through normal campaign play, uh, which means in any campaign that has a white lion, you could alternatively hunt a white Giga Lion on any particular gear. Hmm. Uh, the white Giga Lion uses the white lion's deck, but it adds a couple cards here and there. There's some very cool, exciting new gear, including including a special piece of rare gear that I think people have wanted us to make for a while. Okay. Uh, uh, you're gonna what level? Like what node? monster would this be kind of be considered it's still it is uh still in the white lines node. okay but it is definitely a harder version i would say if we're going to really twist the node system it'd be like a node 1.5 okay but mm -hmm. it's in the same node as the white line okay so like probably like lantern you're like three four ish kind of ideally kind of thing i would not fight this in year one <laughs> <laughs> but again you can fight it multiple times and if you're u playing the vignette uh it'll be pre-printed survivors uh, memory is escaping me as to exactly what year it is. I'm going to say something like six or eight, okay. but I could be wrong. All right. That's awesome. And then we have uh, new Echoes of Death. We have Echoes of Death 2. New strains, I'm assuming. New strain cards, new milestone strains, and, of course, four new fighting arts. Okay. Um, and then we have two other new white boxes? Uh, yes. There is the White Speaker Sword Hunter okay. which, uh, and the Ringtail Vixen, both of which have new game content. I believe one modifies an in-game story event, and one has a settlement event and a new gear card. Okay, so it's actual in-game content, not like a promo card. It, yes. It's actual, actual in-game content awesome. intended to be played with. Not like everything else that isn't. There it is. Like but the Scoopy Spoon. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even sure what the final name of that that made it to print was. But that I don't even know if that's still the product. official name or not. It, 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 it's something like that. <laughs> Scoopy Club. Scoop. Oh, I think it's the Scoopy Club. Yeah, Scoopy okay. Club, something like that. Uh, yes, we have a new photo resin. We have a new resin, which we made in-house, which is very exciting. Oh, you guys made that in-house? Mm, I believe so. Okay. Yes. Uh, I was told to be like, yes, it is okay. in-house. We're doing new cool things. Yeah, uh, we had prints from Lockman that sold out basically immediately because oh, Lockman is here and signing stuff. That's awesome. See, I, I didn't get to go to the booth today, so I, I, I missed out on everything. He'll still be here. I don't know. I don't get the prints, though. True. <laughs> I, I'm just going to steal this card at the end of this <laughs> end of the... Uh, Weekend. I Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I think he'll fight you over that one. I job. think I need this for my job. Yeah. I, I, oh, I said you guys can do the demo, and then I take it at the end <laughs> on Sunday. Oh, how gracious of you. <laughs> and have a look inside it. Yes, you can find us at booth uh, 18,423. That's in Lucas Oil Stadium, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In another state. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much, Erish, cool. for joining us. Yeah, thank Zach, you so much for having me. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about today, or did we cover pretty much all the We bases? have hit everything that I am able to talk about. Fantastic. Willing to talk about. Uh, able and yes. willing. Yeah. <laughs> those are, those are, you know me. The two are the one and the same. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Lawful good, bud. Zach, thank you so much for joining us today and trekking over here to show us this pretty awesome demo of the Frog Dog. We really do appreciate you taking the time for that. Thank you so much for having me. It's always a blast to see you folks. And thank you so much to chat for, well, being wonderful. <laughs> thank all of you for watching at home. We're going to take a brief intermission right now. We'll be back a little bit later at uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time for our spotlight wrapping up day here from day one of Gen Con 2019. Signing off for now, though, I'm Matt. I'm Josh. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.